What's up guys? On a problem like this, I want you to be a little careful because there's a couple of mistakes that students can make which you can still arrive at the correct answer. However, you can be more prone to be making mistakes. And one of those common things is like identifying the least common denominator incorrectly. Because remember, when we're looking for the least common denominator, it's called least for a reason. It's not just called common denominator. And one thing that students will recognize is one of the tricks a lot of times when we're trying to find a common denominator is multiplying the two denominators. I think you can agree we don't want to multiply a 32 times a 16, especially if we don't have a calculator with us. That is going to produce a pretty too large, pretty large fractions that we're then going to have to add and then go ahead and simplify. And even if we just wanted to multiply a 2 over 2 on this one to get 32, that's going to be fine. But again, we're going to have to simplify the results. And again, that's not wrong. You can definitely, you know, combine your two fractions and then simplify. But all you're doing is you're adding an extra layer of complexity. And that extra layer of complexity is just another reason for you to either make a mistake or to prolong something, especially if you're on like a timed test or you're trying to get your homework done in a reasonable amount of time. We don't want to be spending way much longer time on a problem than we really need to. So the thing we want to do is try to reduce these, right? And try to find the smallest number that both 32 and 16 have in common. And again, we could fall into another trap of students say, oh, well, I can divide here a two on this left-hand side and I can divide it eight here on the right-hand side. But be careful, we don't want to do that because if you did that, what you'd now obtain is a seven over a 16 and then plus a one half. Well, again, then we have to go back and get common denominators again to be able to rewrite this, right? I want to be able to just simplify this like one time to be able to get the common denominator. And again, I want to find the least common denominator. So sometimes, a lot of times we're so conditioned to always be multiplying numbers on both fractions to get the common denominator. But in this problem, all we simply need to do is divide the left-hand side by two. Because when we do that, what we now obtain here is a seven over 16 plus an eight over 16. And now remember when you need to go ahead and add fractions, all you simply need to be able to do is just add your numerators and then put it over your common denominator. And then you're all set. 